Shalom, let's talk uh, green hypocrisy. Germany shuts down its last three nuclear power plants only to end up buying nuclear generated electricity from France. After closing the three power plants, they continue to rely heavily on French power generated from exactly the same type of plants. In recent years, German systems operators have very often instructed some large industrial consumers to reduce or completely stop their consumption during certain periods to guarantee system balance. Nuclear energy expert Zolf Harfas told Hungarian newspaper Magnar Nemzet, that's how it works. Such circumstances arise because the European electricity system is short of capacity. It has limited capabilities to import electricity at certain times. Germany, however, accepts electricity imports from France, mainly from nuclear power plants. Harfas added that two dozen scientists and Nobel Prize winners recently wrote an open letter to German Chancellor Olaf Scholz calling for the last three nuclear power plants to continue operating, citing the energy crisis, climate protection and the lack of Russian gas. They also pointed out to the Chancellor that the three nuclear power plants produced a total of 32.7 TWH of climate-friendly electricity in 2022, enough to power a quarter of Germany's 10 million households. Now, why is power becoming more and more of an issue and having to be regulated at certain times and there's pressure on the grid suddenly and all these things, even in first world countries? I mean, I understand my country is mainly due to corruption and them meeting with the World Economic Forum all the time and being told what to do and getting bribes. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm stealing the bolts right out of the walls. But we're just an example of how bad it's going to get. And by us, it's bad at the moment. I mean, 8 to 14 hours a day is normal at this stage of the game, that you live in darkness. When that happens, you don't have water, you don't have basic services, your banking systems are going to go down. Everything that you rely on heavily is gone instantly. So it's something to think about. And I think they're preparing the world for this South African situation to become the norm everywhere while they get everyone controlled, cowed, broken down and in obedience mode. This is all part of how they're going to rule. But we'll keep watching until we fly. God bless. Shalom.